Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing my favorites video today. It's not a November favorites because I never follow by the monthly favorites rule anyways. I just have a couple of products that I really, really want to share with you guys because I just love them so much right now. And I never do monthly favorites because I never, I never get the point of having favorites on a timed basis when most of the time you don't even really like anything. So I'm going to be doing a favorites right now in the random middle of the month. The first thing I have is probably no surprise to you guys because if you've seen my haul then you've seen this product. It's Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum and obviously it smells like coconuts and I just absolutely love it. It works wonders as long as you use it right after you get out of the shower. Well not right after but after your hair is towel dried a little bit or air dried a little bit. You know just damp and you put this in your hair really really has been working for me. It smells really great too. And I've noticed that my hair is just a lot a lot silkier and a lot stronger. And it doesn't break. Like really it's doing its job. That's how you know it's doing its job. The next product I have is again something that was in my haul video and it is my Sonia Kashuk powder brush. I don't know why I love this thing so much. It's just a paddle. And I have one that's pretty much exactly like it from e.l.f. And it's also a paddle. And this one is way, way softer. It's synthetic hairs, so it's way, way softer. But I just, I'm just loving this one right now for some reason. Just loving the Sony Kashuk one. Then I have a lip product, and it is my e.l.f. Mineral Lip Gloss in Trendsetter. Just, it's just a really good everyday kind of lip gloss for me. And it's kind of shimmery, but not super shimmery to the point where you don't really like it for an everyday basis. But if you guys can see that, then you can see it's kind of just a rosy, mauve-ish color. Kind of darker for fairer skin tones, but for me, it's, it's just working really well. Another lip product I have is one that I actually kind of made at home myself. And it is this tinted lip conditioner, I suppose you would call it. It was made from a loose blush I had, a loose powder brush and some Vaseline and actually I used it a mineral bare minerals blush I believe yeah but it's this bare minerals blush in glee and that is what it looks like right there and I just put that and mixed it in with some mushy melted Vaseline and then I put it into a little tube or a little tub like like this and I just let it set and I mix it up and that's how I got it. For my favorites I also have a blush and it is the Hard Candy Fox in a Box and this is in the color Hot Flash and it is this box. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me of what is that? The Hulu and the I don't even know. Is that Benefit? I don't remember. But it comes in a box and it has a little brush right there and then inside there's a uh, pink, a lighter pink, and then kind of a tannish color and a peachy color. And the way I use it is just, you know, one side at a time like that. I'll mix the two colors down here or the two colors up there. But I've been really, really liking this, this blush kit, I suppose you could call it. Coming down to the last few products, I have my NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone, which is EB, ESB03. But it's just literally a base, an eyeshadow base that is skin tone colored. And I've been using this way, way more than my MAC Paint Pots or way more than my NYX Jumbo Pencils or my any other primer that I have basically. This is my number one primer right now. I use it every single day, literally. If you guys are looking for a cheap alternative to a hot pot, then I, or hot pot, to a MAC Paint Pot, then I would definitely recommend this. It works for me, although, you know, no no special specialness to it like a MAC paint pot. I have two eyeshadow palettes and the first one is by NYX and it is the Champagne and Caviar palette which is just kind of cool browns palette and usually I don't go for cool browns because I'm kind of warmer I'm a warm skin tone so you know cools don't look as good on me but I've been using trying not to blind you with a mirror I've been using this color and that color and that color and then these two brown colors right here so yeah the last thing I have is another eyeshadow palette and is the elf beauty encyclopedia palette 
And I've had this thing ever since they first came out with these things. First came out with it in Target anyways. I bought this immediately and I pretty much have all of the e.l.f. palettes, like, no lie. But I've been using these four right here in that bottom corner right here, these four browns. So, again, I've been really into browns lately and neutral colors. So that is all for my favorites video. Also, I recently bought a few things from Miz. Miz Outlet, is that what it was called? I don't even remember. But Dangerous Grace, Dangerous Grace, Grace from Dangerous Person recently posted a, a review of some jewelry and some accessories she got from Miz Outlet and I loved it. I went to check out the site and I loved it and I ordered some things so you'll probably be seeing a haul of that stuff soon hopefully. Fingers crossed that that stuff comes in. But I've been talking way too much lately so I, I'm just gonna let you guys go. So, goodbye! That end. That end. Damn it. That end.